Hi, and welcome back to part two of the Logo app. In this version of Logo, we're given a much stronger set of commands to use for our drawing problems. We can go forward by n pixels, where we can specify n when we go forward, and we can turn by any angle between 0 and 360. So that should make it much easier to draw different shapes. When you load the template, if you click the draw button, as I'm going to do here, you'll see that it doesn't know how to draw yet. You're going to have to write procedures to get it to draw the different shapes. For example, if I switch over to the blocks editor for a moment, you can see that when I click on the button draw, it will draw a triangle by calling a draw triangle procedure and passing it the length of the side as 100. And I'm not showing you the draw triangle because that's something you're going to have to figure out, but let's see what happens when we, when we run the app now. Once you define a correct draw triangle procedure and call it from the button draw dot click handler then when you press the draw button you'll get an equilateral triangle. The activities in this lesson are to draw different kinds of shapes so let me show you a couple. For example here's a pentagon and here's an eight-sided polygon also known as an octagon looks like a stop sign. You can even draw shapes of your own design. Here's the one I came up with. Drawing this shape will take a little time. There we go. Isn't that neat? What I'm doing here is randomly varying the color as I take a circle and rotate it. So let's have fun drawing some really interesting shapes and learning about how to define procedures with parameters so we can raise our logo commands to a higher level of abstraction. 